What's up everybody? Today I wanted to go over the EAFC 25 paid season pass. Um, I've seen a lot of people go over it and I don't think they're doing a very good job of covering it or kind of bringing up examples of why it could be a problem. Uh, and I've got some examples so I figured I would fill that gap. Firstly, I want to note that this is the best article I could find for information about it. However, this article is filled with contradictions um, so we can't take everything here perfectly. Uh, accurately EA are kind of being vague about this pretty intentionally um, so any information we see here is not set in stone um, but it's interesting to talk about regardless because it will likely be what we get or some version of it first interesting thing in this article right away is you can see that this is across career mode pro clubs and ultimate team I don't think we've ever had something quite quite like that, although we did have something close to it um, back in the day that I'll talk about in a second. Um, the premium tier will be available for purchase with both FC points and Ultimate Team coins, which is very good. If that remains true forever, then there's no problem at all, because this is free, it's something you have to earn through getting coins, but I think that coins have become less and less of a actual issue to build teams with since everything's untradeable. I would say personally, if this is just extra content like EA are claiming with coins, this is a big dub, especially for me. Um, even though it's it's viable and whatever, I, I'm fine with it because I think it actually offers something to the free-to-play player. I'm not so sure that's going to be the case, though. Um, firstly, this is just a bold-faced lie. Um, the premium tier appeared as an extra, extra reward once players reached a certain reward level in the free season track. Not for a second do I believe that. Not for a second. This is EA Sports Vancouver, Canada, we are talking about. If they had a chance to make a dime off of a homeless man, they would take it right out of his fucking crate. They don't give a shit. They will take money from anybody. Um, and they're not going to make you wait and unlock stuff for free to buy the premium version. There's no way. I refuse to believe that. Um, we've got some interesting quotes here. That the free tier will essentially be what players see in the game today. So they're saying that what's the free version of this is the free version that we have right now that'll stay exactly the same. I doubt that a little bit, um, but I'll get into that. Um, and this is just so, this is something that we're adding on top. There'll be a shared thing across clubs, career, and ultimate team. We'll see. Uh, another problem here is they say at a high level, which is a weird preface because this doesn't really mean anything at all. Um, these are just words that we're using to make this next part not another lie. There will be nothing in the paid tier that can't be earned in the free tier. That's not true. Why would you have a paid tier that is somehow either worse or the same as a free tier? And these are where my problems start to come because they're being very unclear with what's going on here. They're using a lot of words. They're trying to trick people. They're making statements beforehand that make their lies that's come afterwards technically not true. My fear here is that there's going to be like players that are technically not exclusive, but uh, say like Thunderstruck Puskas, if you were able to get that card in like early December um, off of the battle pass that was paid. That's kind of like my thinking of what they're going to do is something like that, but that's all speculation. Um, and again, as long as this continues to be available with coins, that's not really a problem if it's better than the free one. That's not a problem at all. Um, but now I want to kind of get into my examples. A lot of that is speculation. A lot of that's just what the article says. Um, this is example one. This is something that is kind of close to what this will be in terms of like being a reward system across all game modes. And that was the old like level catalog. I, genuinely, no idea um, why this was ever a thing, but it was. As you can see, you know, you've got gameplay, which is like jerseys and stuff, ultimate team, online, career, and just all these items that you can buy once you hit different levels in, like, I don't even know what how to describe it, but you leveled up for playing any game mode, basically, and then you get rewards across any game mode, which was interesting, but as you can see, these rewards are not very good, even if you go towards the end, like an extra match in seasons, I mean, so I guess you might not get relegated or something. That's not even a mode that exists anymore. You see level 35, this thing used to have 40 levels. Level 35 was a lone gold Vidal. Not like anybody was losing their mind over that. Um, but it's interesting because it's the only example that we've had similar to this. How I think this will function is more like God's favorite battle pass, the Fortnite one, before this new system that they have, which sucks. 
you set this great system where it was just, hey, here's the free tier, here's the paid tier, it's very clear which is which. Um, the only distinction, I think, from the EA one is that the free tier will have um, items in every level. They're not going to go right away to doing something ridiculous like this, but they will eventually, I think. Um, that's all more speculation, though. Uh, what I do really want to cover is swaps. Swaps left us way too soon in FIFA 23. We have not had them back since, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But I just want to go over some of the rewards you could get from swaps. This is like the low-level stuff. Um, I guess I should explain what swaps was, if you don't know. Swaps was a system where you essentially completed objectives. You'd earn a token for every objective you completed. Um, and you could go trade in those tokens for rewards. And as you can see here, there were 50 tokens total. But if you want to go spend three on an 8220, you could do that. Think of where an 8220 might be on a battle pass now in like the, the level 20 range. Um, and then, you know, if we go, where, where is it? Does he have it in here? Oh, he definitely does. There it is, Patrick Vieira. But why does it do that every time? Um, you can see it for a second there that there was um, you know, Gatorade get some free advertising. You can see here that Patrick Vieira um, is right there. I think he was 40 tokens out of the 50 that you get. But, I mean, look at that card. This was coming out in, like, December. Um, and a Vieira card like that is so valuable. You get that for free. That was free. It, it was a lot of work. Um, but nothing too crazy, especially not when the game is so alive so early. Um, and you would get a great card for it. Um, which kind of leads me into this. Mostly, I wanted to talk about this. This was the old season pass before they started to pump it with all of the swaps rewards. Um, it used to look like this. It was useless. I mean, you re re read it and weep. A rare mega pack was your second best thing. And these storyline player items sucked every single time. Now, that changed. I don't know if it was here or here. I think it was here. That changed. All of a sudden, you see the rewards get much better. That 1082 plus is back a little bit. Now, look at what's up here. An 85, one of three. An 85, five. An 86, two. Mixed content. And what that mixed content was was stuff like this, stuff like a foot birthday icon, stuff like, towards the end, if it'll let me do it and not play an ad and not load forever, there was a free, there it is, a 30 times 84 plus pack, which is significantly better, um, obviously, than the rewards were before, but you had this instead of swaps. Is this better than swaps? Mm, debatable. I'd say no, but you can see up here, top season swaps. They were very clear when this came out, this was replacing swaps, the new level system, which has been okay. It's been okay this year, but I think the only one this year that was really, really good was the festival of football one that we just had. I think everything else before that was just not as good as swaps would have been. You either had to pick like an 8420 or some of them were really bad icons that you could take. Nothing was even close to that Vieira is my point. Um, and then this is very different, very unrelated. This is my biggest concern, is that we are taking something that was free and we're turning it into a paid system um, to get those rewards. That's kind of my concern is where we're going. And part of my concern is EA's other game, Apex Legends. Um, now this is a free to play game, not a paid one. So their monetization can be a little bit more aggressive, but people are not happy. And I think with good reason. As you can see here, they are replacing, and this is quite new, they are replacing their old Battle Pass system where you could buy it with in-game coins. Now, you did have to buy these, um, but it was, you could get them from the Battle Pass and then buy the next Battle Pass with them. Now, that is a dollar amount. This is like FC points here versus just dollars, um, if you think about it that way. And you've also got every half season, which is just hilarious. I mean, the... the they're just milking this shit. Um, so you have to pay that twenty or that ten dollars twice as much, or if you want the level skips and then extra free stuff, then you'd have to pay double that twice as often, the half season, whatever. Um, and this is my concern: is that this is where we're slowly going. You know, we are frogs in a pot, and the water's starting to get a little bit hotter. You know, we're starting to boil a little bit. Um, that is my big concern, is that we are taking a free system, like swaps, we are shoving it into a battle pass that EA will slowly make paid only from coins 
to paid only eventually. And again, that is just hearsay. That's something I'm coming up with. Um, and we are kind of just going to let it happen. I think it'll be good at first. I really do. I think buying it with coins, having two battle passes essentially will be great. I don't think they'll be too crazy with like the difference between the paid and the free at first. But I think as we go through this game cycle, I'd say about halfway through, you're going to start to notice the paid pass is much better than the free pass. Um, and then, you know, we'll just see where it goes from there as far as being able to buy with coins. Another thing that they've done in the past that would concern me is that they, they, they've had some store packs in the past that are like ridiculous coin amounts and then a much more reasonable FC point amount. So they might try to like trick you into using FC points by doing that and making it so that the coin value just doesn't make any sense on it. Um, these are just all of their tactics. But again, this isn't inherently bad, but it could be really bad, and I think it'll get really bad. I'd love to know your thoughts, if you have any, in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time.